Hey, Kevin, building the bridge? Yeah, it's about as heavy enough, sure. No, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about closed vessels. So if you take a piece of square tubing like this and you start enclosing it all, you know, you're welding all the ends together and I've got a cap on that end and I'm finishing up the cap on this end, get to that last little spot and all of a sudden you have a closed vessel. Why is that a bad thing? Because as you're welding that, you are actually heating the air inside the vessel and if you get it too hot, that air is going to want to blow out. It's going to want to pop and you're going to have a bigger hole to fill. So what do you do about it? So there's really two ways that I use to cheat to get around this. I'll be welding up a joint like that. It's my last joint. I don't want to have a blowout. I can use a foot pedal so I can get close to that end and then I can back off on the heat a little bit. I can back off on the amps, the weld will cool down a little bit and get that last tiny little bit right there. Or you can come up here out of the way, just a little bit away from wherever it is that you're welding and drill a, you know, a eighth of an inch hole or you know, a sixteenth of an inch, something small. Just enough to let it breathe, let the air move, let the pressure that's building up inside as you're welding escape. You can finish your weld here and then come back to that hole, one, one little dab, you're all done. So I'm going to fire up the Everlast 275 Lightning over here. Going to be running the TIG function on it with the foot pedal. Let me put my gear on, let me weld this sucker up and be done with it. As I get close to the end right here, just back off of it a little bit. Got the residual heat carry it over. So as I was running along here, I had a little bit of a bobble trying to feed it, standing up and working a foot pedal. Not the best way to do it, but finished up the weld, got really close to the end here, and just back off the pedal a little bit let the residual heat kind of help the weld finish up and that way I don't have a blowout from inside. So easy to do. I hope that helps you guys. I do appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. I'll see you next time. Okay, so let me just go ahead and start a bead right here and we'll weld this up. Need the rod. <laughs> and I'll show you what, what's happening.